Good morning. <laughs> Hello. My name is Eliza Sylvia, and I'm currently a graduate student here at the University of Guelph. I would like to welcome you to the College of Physical and Engineering Science Convocation Ceremony this morning. The University of Guelph is honored by our graduates, and we take great pride in this convocation. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the proceedings today. The ceremonials used for conferring degrees have evolved over a millennium, and the gowns and hoods represent that history. In general, the gowns for the baccalaureate and the magisteriate degrees are black, and the color of the hood is different for each degree program. The doctorates at the University of Guelph have a bright blue gown, and the honorary degrees are red. The University of Guelph crest that you see on the curtains behind me and shown on the cover of our convocation program also represents our specific history. The emblems in the crest show links with the Royal City of Guelph through the white stallion above, the connection to liberal arts through the book, to the sciences through the astrolabe, and our connection to abundance in agriculture through the cornucopia. The University of Guelph motto, Rerum cognoscare cosas, is a quote from Virgil. It is variously translated to be either happy is the one who is able to ascertain the reason of things, or perhaps to know the meaning of things. The procession of people into the hall are also influenced by ancient tradition. The piper will herald the start of the procession of graduates, the students who are here to graduate today. This will be followed by the arrival of the mace, leading the platform party. The mace is a symbol of authority of the university and will be carried by the beetle. In medieval times, the beetle was chosen by the instructor to work as an assistant. Today, the beetle is the ceremonial officer of state. Following the beetle and mace is the chancellor and president, members of the administration and the honorees, fellows of the university, members of the board and senate, and members of faculty and staff. The degrees will be conferred in the order that you see in your program. The degrees are separated by categories representing the specific degree being awarded within the college. The name reader will present the scholars to the chancellor and president by degree category. As the name of each student is called, the beetle will place the hood over the recipient's shoulders. This moment will be videoed and technology willing there will be a simultaneous live cast of the event to allow family members and friends to watch from a distance. The president will greet each, each student at center stage and a photograph will be taken. We understand the joy and excitement accompanying such an auspicious occasion, but we ask you to hold your applause until after each group of graduates has crossed the stage. There will be an opportunity for a truly thunderous applause. Once all the degrees are conferred and all the cheers are cheered, the Chancellor will close the ceremony and a recessional will play. Please remain standing during the recessional until all of the platform party has processed out of the hall. Our colleagues from Alumni Affairs are hosting a social media program developed especially for convocation. Please share your photos, memories and advice with graduating students by joining us on social media and using the hashtag GuelphGrad. Finally, may I be the first person to congratulate the graduates on their various successes and offer my congratulations to the family and friends who are here to support them today. Welcome to Convocation at the University of Guelph.
Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. On this day, of recognized achievement, we pause and we reflect on our place in this world and here in Guelph. We acknowledge the Attawandaran people on whose traditional territory the University of Guelph now resides. And we offer our respect to their Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe and Métis neighbors. Today marks the end of a journey we give thanks for the friendships that have been created along the way. We are grateful for all those who have supported us and come alongside us. Faculty, staff, mentors, and of course, families. For we could have not have made it on our own. At this time, I invite you, each in your own way, to take a moment of silence to reflect to recognize that for which you are grateful, or to offer a prayer. As we step into a new tomorrow, may the knowledge that we have gained here be coupled with wisdom and infused with compassion and clothed with humility, that we might contribute to the flourishing of all humanity, that we might embrace the forgotten, enhance the sustainability of all things, and fully discover what it means to be human. May grace and peace abound. You may be seated. Good morning. I am delighted to officially open this 2017 University of Guelph Convocation Ceremony and welcome everyone here. President Vaccarino, members of the board, honorary fellows, faculty, staff, family and friends of the graduates, today as we celebrate the achievements of our graduating class, I'd like to offer particular welcome to our convocation speaker, John Dutcher. He will be introduced to you shortly. My name is Martha Billis, and I have the honor of serving as chancellor here at the University of Guelph. And what an honor it is to be here today, back at the university, my alma mater. I think back to when I was in your shoes, Proud to be a Mac Institute graduate and anxious to take on the next challenge around the corner. Problem is, we do not always know what is coming or how we're going to get there. Today, I want to instill in you a belief my dean, Margaret McCready, instilled in me years ago. She was full of advice. 
But most often, she'd say, remember, ladies, you are Mac girls, and Mac girls can do anything. And she was right. I stand before you today to proudly and confidently tell you that the education I received here gave me the wherewithal to go out and strive beyond what I thought I was capable of. Since the days of its founding colleges, the University of Guelph has been a leader in practical education focused on the whole person. The university has fostered an environment that encourages the community of students to aim higher, to make things better, to be more productive, to turn preconceived notions on their head, to make a difference, to improve life. My education opened up doors and offered windows on the world I could not have imagined. Half a century later, those things are still happening here at this fantastic institution. Graduands, your windows are waiting. It's your turn. Your turn to make a difference and to improve life for ourselves and for others. I know you can do it because you are, after all, a University of Guelph graduate, and you can do anything. Good luck to you all. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Franco Vaccarino, and I have the honor and the privilege of serving as the president and vice chancellor of this great university. Well, graduates, this is your big day. You've worked hard, you've persevered, and you've made it. Well done, well deserved. <laughs> Think fast. Think fast. We've all heard that expression. You don't often hear anyone tell you to think slow. Think slow. But my main message today is twofold. Think fast and think slow. As a psychologist, I'm interested in cognitive sciences and, and neurosciences and speaking as well as a, a parent of university age children, I believe that fundamentally your minds are different from those of your parents' generation. We see how you absorb information, how you interact with and through information technology in unprecedented ways. Young people are very, very good at coping with lots of information and shifting their attention in that context. Your brains have basically adapted to a very fast-paced world. Today we are navigating a river of knowledge, river of knowledge one that's growing larger and flowing faster all the time. New ideas are coming at us at an unprecedented pace. New innovations, new ways to connect the dots, and new ways to understand the world. We need to process more and more information in the same amount of time. We need to think faster. We might call that fast thinking reactive thinking. Reactive thinking is a kind of tactic tactical thinking process. It's what helps a driver negotiate the twists and turns of the road from moment to moment. But of course, there's another kind of thinking, reflective thinking or slow thinking, which takes a more strategic view, a broader view. Not that I'm suggesting that you think more slowly in the literal sense. I'm talking about a different kind of thought, different way of thinking and approaching problems than tactical or reactive. In our fast-paced world, universities are increasingly important places for both kinds of thinking. Reactive thinking, fast thinking that addresses the now, but also reflective thinking that rises above the here and now to take the long view and consider the broader context, to consider tomorrow and the day after. 
You know, as students at the University of Guelph, you have benefited during the past few years from an environment that has challenged your thinking, an environment that nurtures freedom of thought, expression of in and inquiry, an environment that promotes and supports openness to new ideas, one that invites varied perspectives, different perspectives on a problem or opportunity. We've, we've tried to encourage you to exercise both reactive as well as reflective thinking. We've stressed the kind of thinking that enables you not just to provide the right answers, but also, importantly, to ask the right questions. We've looked to nurture thinking that is disciplined and thinking that is interdisciplinary, that draws upon diversity of experiences, diversity of points of view. That kind of thinking is even more important in a world where the challenges and opportunities we face are more complex than ever. Now, big problems and big opportunity, opportunities need, need lots of minds working together, working together on solutions. Lots of minds, but not just like minds, but unlike minds. Unlike minds from varied perspectives, from different backgrounds. You know, there's a proverb that goes something like this. I think it's an African proverb. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. You're about to explore and discover the next phase of your lives, including, I hope, finding ways to improve life for others around you and in the wider world. Go together. Think fast and think slow. Thank you very much. I am pleased to invite John Dutcher, professor and Canada Research Chair in Soft Matter and Biological Physics to now give the convocation address. John. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Mr. President, Madam Provost, Interim Dean Zipner, <laughs> I think I got everyone, uh, colleagues, distinguished graduates, Parents, brothers and sisters, friends, graduating class, it's my great privilege to speak to you today as you celebrate an amazing accomplishment, completion of your undergraduate bachelor's degree at the University of Guelph. Let me take the opportunity to congratulate all of you and echo President Vaccarino's comments. Well done, class of 2017. During your time at Guelph, you've learned a lot. Some of it is very specific information, whether it's how to prove Taylor's theorem for a function of two variables, or how to use vibrational spectroscopy to identify chemical compounds, or how to solve the Schrodinger equation. You know, this is all very interesting and useful, but I would say the most important takeaways from your degree are broader than this, the ability to solve problems and to think critically. These are skills that will be valuable throughout your career and in your everyday life. Problem solving is such a valuable skill. We all have to make decisions, and the ability to do this by using a logical and methodical approach, or one in which you have to think outside the box, is a huge advantage. With Google, Wikipedia, and countless blogs on the web, information is cheap. Sorting the wheat from the chaff is much more challenging, and your university education has provided you with the ability to think critically. This may be the most important aspect of your learning, especially in this disturbing era of alternative facts and fake news. Specialized knowledge, problem solving, and critical thinking are all great, but they're only useful if you can communicate your ideas to others. To drive home this point, I have a task for the graduating class. One final assignment. Okay. <laughs> um, before you leave today, I would like you to speak to your fellow graduates sitting next to you and describe to them the coolest thing that you learned as an undergrad. Okay. It might even have something to do with science. Uh, be because your neighbors will likely have different backgrounds, you'll have to use simple language to communicate complex concepts. 
This is another valuable skill and one that we all have to continue to improve. As you move forward from today, some of you will pursue graduate studies, becoming an expert in a particular field of science or technology. Some of you will join the workforce directly. Regardless of your path, recent reports show that you will likely change jobs many times during your career. You may even move into a job that doesn't exist yet. Taking on new challenges can be daunting, but don't fear it, embrace it. View it as an opportunity to expand your skill set and learn new things. I can't overstate the importance of continuing to learn throughout your life. It keeps you young and it's fun. I've had the opportunity to continue to learn new things during my career and this has allowed me to reinvent my research program several times, learning about polymers, proteins, bacteria, and even business for the first time as a professor and eventually becoming a world expert in some of these fields. Sometimes this results in new knowledge, sometimes it results in new technologies, sometimes it's just a blast. <laughs> this has happened for me because of the opportunities presented to me in the wonderful collaborative atmosphere at the University of Guelph. You have to embrace your environment, recognize opportunities, and take full advantage of them. In the words of the great philosopher Yogi Berra, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. As you move forward into the next phase of your life, blow people away with your ideas and your work ethic. People will notice. Things will happen. Best of luck, class of 2017. I look forward to hearing about all of the wonderful things that you will accomplish. Thank you, Dr. Dutcher, for those inspiring remarks. I look forward to those conversations he's encouraging you to have. Good morning, I'm Charlotte Yates. I'm the Vice President, Academic and Provost of the University of Guelph. And this is the moment you've been waiting for. Would the class, graduating class of 217, please rise. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you these scholars who have fulfilled the statutory requirements laid down by the Senate of the University of Guelph, that they may be admitted to their various and several degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me and in the University of Guelph, I hereby accept you for admission to your various and several degrees with all the rights, privileges, and obligations appertaining thereto. Will members of the graduating class please be seated. Good morning, graduates, and proud family and friends of the graduates. I'm Richard Zittner. I'm the dean of the college. I'm sure you'll be excited and perhaps a little relieved. Certainly happy you'll, to see your graduate walk across the stage and be greeted by the president. And you may want to express your emotions in some audible manner. This is fine, but please go ahead. But, that big but, may we ask that the general audience please hold your collective applause until the presentation of each of the degree programs has taken place. Thank you. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, Mr. President, and Madam Provost, I have the honor to present to you this scholar from the College of Physical and Engineering Science that he may be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Arts Honors. Andrew Michael Nagel, with distinction. Madam Chancellor, Mr. President, Madam Provost, 
I have the honor to present to you these scholars from the College of Physical Engineering Science that they may be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Computing Honors. Kashan Ali. Jarrett George Anderson. Corey Scott Andrews, with distinction. Mame Edouard Benoit Epthemthing. Sam James Bowman, with distinction. Tyler Jacob Bridges, with distinction. Sarah Dominic Bullock. Bogdan Christian Bonescu. Gregory James Campbell. Devin Raymond Dagg. Yes. <laughs> Stephen John Deline. Russell Howard George Dunk. Michael James Ellis. Ahmed Khalid El Chantelli. Slavomir Lazic Godvorn, with distinction. Mark David Goldberg, with distinction. Anila Hasai. Eric William Hoffman. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew Matthew Hunt. Yeah, <laughs> Jeffrey David Cap. Brandon William Lacey. Christopher Brian Landon. Sebastian Majid Lenovich. Robert Mark Andrew Little. <laughs> Tyler Gregory Lubinecki. <laughs> Nigel Scott Martinez. Naven Matthew with distinction.
Andrew O'Donohue. Ian Patrick Pavlet. Lajos Polya, with distinction. Laurent Polya. Quinton James Price. Sathian Ragnathan. Christian Rai. Bashir Saho. Christian Philip Sukes. Brandon Richie Tan with distinction. Joshua Adam Venner. Chris Anthony Vincent. Andrew Welton with distinction. <laughs> Vanessa Amanda White. Mark Guy Wilson. Alexander Luke Yak. Madam Chancellor. Mr. President, Madam Provost, I have the honor to present to you these scholars from the College of Physical and Engineering Science that they may be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Computing General. Minahil Ikram. Dominic Angie Lee. Nathan Raymer. Pro Tem Roy. Vincent Young. Eric Zorn Valentin. Please join me in congratulating this class. Madam Chancellor, Mr. President, Madam Provost, 
I have the honor to present to you these scholars from the College of Physical and Engineering Science that they may be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors. Mohammed Ahmed, with distinction. Matthew Robert Atkinson, with distinction. No, I need a card. Regent Anderson Dornan. Andrew Graham Argyle. Nailene Kayla Balgobin. Alvaro Val Kavaski. Eric Wesley Bergman with distinction. Laura Megan Bickley. Duncan Clark Brain. Victoria Elizabeth Brott. Lucas Gordon Brown. Jason Riley Bursey. Amanda Lynn Butt, with distinction. Anita Rosamarie Campanelli. Charlie Helena Carrero, with distinction. Jacob Carrillo Haley. Vivian Chan. Parker Michael Christie. Joseph Alfonso Cerrone, with distinction. Woo! Jacob Conley. <laughs> Jeffrey Eric DeVolute, with distinction. Michael Edward Edson, with distinction. Woo! Maxwell Thomas Fitzsimmons, with distinction. Woo! Victoria Ann Flood. Rebecca E. Freeman Frederick, with distinction.
Braden William Gateman. Charles Michael Gauche Signori. Carson Timothy Gavin. Sierra Don Gillis with distinction. Connor Agnes Gordon Gregor with distinction. Valerie Grace Hodgins. Braden Adam Johnson. Anate Karako. Eva Marie Cassanda with distinction. Matthew Joshua Kazakov. Let's go, Matt. <laughs> Catherine Veronica Maxwell Kiri. Bryn Philip James Knight with distinction. Shane Anthony Laverty. Vena Lai. William Adar Richard Mayer. Joel Edward McBride with distinction. Aaron Kathleen McGee with distinction. Cameron Allen McGuire. William Grant McMurchy. Jack McNam with distinction. James Anthony Mealy. Alexandra Moffat. Focus Nayagomaya. Kira Page Davis with distinction. Charlie Pham with distinction. Christian Julian Foransing. Keegan Patrick Haran Rowe.
Stephanie, Stephanie Martin Rucker. Andrew Christian Shakati. Michael Andrew Sally. Jordan Patrick Schneider. Chantil Len Senes. Mackenzie Robert Andrew Simpson. Amar Deep Singh. Braden Clark Skeen with distinction. Parnian Sultan, sorry, <laughs> Sultan Pinapan with distinction. Matthew Andrew Stratton with distinction. Christina Suleiman. Kola Woli Tanewol. Brandon John Vandermeer. Joshua Michael Vanderslam. Colin Albert Versnick with distinction. Melissa Sarah Walters. Alexander William Henry Whittingham with distinction. Christopher Grant Wicks with distinction. Please join me in congratulating this group of graduates. Madam Chancellor, Mr. President, Madam Provost, I have the honor to present to you these scholars from the College of Physical and Engineering Science that they may be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Science General. Samia Adda. Rodolfo Jaramillo Tatis. <laughs> Eric Kassab. <laughs> Let's give a hand hand for all the graduates once again.
Madam Chancellor, I would ask you to confer the various and several degrees on the graduates listed in the program, but unable to be present at this ceremony. By virtue of the authority vested in me and in the University of Guelph, I confer the various and several degrees in absentia on the graduands not here present. Well, graduates, you did it. Congratulations. Well done. Well, let me take this opportunity to welcome all of you now to the Griffin Alumni family, a growing family, as you can imagine. This week, more than 3,400 new graduates are joining that family. The University of Guelph alumni now number more than 125,000 graduates around the world. Now, as you can imagine, we're all very proud of your accomplishments here at the University of Guelph and look forward to seeing how the foundations that you've developed here as students will continue to support you in the years to come, in your own futures. We want to celebrate your achievements and successes and really do hope that you'll, you'll stay in touch. Remember that you're always, always welcome here. Graduates, you've made many memories here including today's ceremony, and remember this as well. You are a student for a relatively short time, but you're a Griffin forever. Well done, congratulations. So this concludes our formal convocation ceremony. Uh, the college dean will host a reception for all graduates and their guests in Creelman Hall, right next door here. This is an opportunity to congratulate uh, the graduates, mingle a little bit, and we do hope that, uh, that you can attend. And now, as tradition has it, the final word is from our chancellor. Convocation is dismissed. Again, congratulations, everyone. We know that you're going to do great things, so please come back often and share what's been happening in your lives. Now I'm going to ask a few things that will help us to prepare the hall for the next set of families who are hoping to enjoy the ceremony for their student. We're going to ask you to leave through the side doors, students first, followed by your families. We hope you'll go out, enjoy time with your family and friends, take lots of photos for, to, so you can commemorate this. A uh, wonderful occasion, and I'm going to ask you one more time. You did it. Woo!